Hi guys, so it's been a while since I last uploaded a video. Um, I apologize. I've been busy being social. Um, and I'm a bit of a hermit, so for me to go forth and be social is a bit epic. Um, so yeah. Um, I didn't know I was going to be busy, so I had pre-filmed things and it was so, so frustrating. I filmed for like four hours and then I uploaded this, the footage to my computer, put it through the converter and I'm going and no sound. What the F. So, I'm free this weekend so I'm filming now all the videos that I'd previously filmed again. Cool. Because um, next weekend is my birthday next Sunday. Ooh, I'm going to be 24. So on the Saturday Nick and I are going to have a date night and we're going to go see the Star Trek movie and we're going to go probably have something to eat and that's going to be cool. Um, it's the first time we've had a date night since... Well, tell a lie. We went to see Hedia's art um, a week ago. But that wasn't really a date night. That was like a uh, mad rush down to the other end of town. Um, but we haven't had a, like, a date night date night since we went to see Prometheus, which was back March last year, I think. Or whenever Prometheus was in the cinemas. But anyways. Today, I'm going to share with you a haul video. The last time I did all my filming, I filmed everything that I bought in March on my Cherry Culture haul, which um, has all been put away now. And I'm not about to go dig it all out, so I apologise for not having that video for you. I know I, I said I would, but you know, you will see all those products in due course. This is stuff that I picked up in April. And in the last couple of weeks whilst I've been out shopping with friends. Um, it's not as bad as the shopping I did in March, but you know, it's still pretty bad because I'm supposed to be going to make it 2013, which I've done a blog post about, um, which I'll link my blog in the info box as always. Um, I'm kind of going to do a, like a, what's the word? What did I call it? Detox? I'm gonna do a detox version of it during the summer. So, this is kind of like last supper right now. So I'll just get started. Um, firstly, I'm gonna start with what is on my lips. These are the Maybelline Vivids. I freaking love them. Absolutely adore them. The only colour I didn't get was the neon red because it was really, really orangey and I don't do good with orangey reds. Um, and I probably already have a red similar anyways, so I didn't see the point in getting it. But the colours I got were Hot Plum, Fuchsia Flash, Electric Orange, and Shocking Coral. And this is Shocking Coral. Electric Orange. I promise you this is a lot more wearable than it looks. Um, Hot Plum, which is what I'm wearing right now. And Fuchsia Flash. Which is super duper vibrant. So yeah, I've been loving these. I'm gonna do a separate video, just a quick video telling you what I think about them and I'll have a little surprise for you guys in that video as well. I'm sure you can guess what it is but there will be a surprise in that video so keep an eye out for it. So my local dab gnomes has had a complete revamp, even their beauty haul, um, we've, they've like rearranged all the counters and they've also added new counters in, um, and one that I was, well one that I was really excited about was Urban Decay, but we have a cargo counter now, and ours was the first to open in the UK 
and it was freaking awesome um, and it was oh I was so excited and I didn't realize how cheap cargo was I mean it's not like dirt cheap but compared to everything else in Davidums it's fairly cheap um, one product I don't have to show you which I'm a bit, bit bummed about um, because I really like it and I can't find it I think I might have lost it because it's so small um, they have these lip glosses that legit are smaller than this brush like they're they're the same size as MAC lip glasses, um, just a bit thinner and they're 7 50 and I got one in Tuscany and it's a gorgeous um, kind of nude colour, um, kind of like this colour but a bit paler and it's gorgeous and I love it and I don't know what I've done with it. Um, as I say, it is quite small, so it's probably kicking about the bottom of my bag someplace, which is not cool, but whatever. But I also got these two products. This is the Blush in Big Easy. I'd originally wanted Tonga, but, um, you know, it was their first day. They didn't know the products themselves, but she picked this up and I was like, oh, that looks pretty. Let's go with that instead. Um, but yeah, it's a really pretty coral shade and it's what I have on my cheeks just now. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up but it's a really pale soft coral and it's going to be perfect for summer. I also got their One Base. Um, it's a foundation and concealer in one and I got it in shade number two and it's like a squeezy tube with a doe foot applicator. Oh, it's got some on my knuckle. Um, but this has amazing coverage. I will do a video on this soon, I promise. I'll do like a get ready with me video, including this. And because I purchased those three things, it was over a set amount. Um, the blushes are 19, the foundation was 18, the lip gloss was like 750. So I think it was like over, if you spent over like 40 pounds or something, you got free bronzer. And this is their medium bronzer and this is worth £20 and this bronzer is gorgeous. This stuff kicks Laguna's ass. Seriously. Like when I saw it I thought oh it looks so much like Laguna but no this, this kicks Laguna's ass. Big time. I got a random thing from Marks and Spencer's. This is from Autograph and this is their Pure Luxe powder highlighter and this was £14 and it looks like this. It's so shimmery I could blind you with it but this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me so much of those um, pure colour gelée type powders um, only a lot more of a drier formula. This is more of the formula of the um, Cruel Gardenia um, highlight powder from Guerlain. But yeah, £14. And all the other ones that like the big brands have been coming out with have been like £20 and up. So I would I would check out your local MS if they have a beauty area and try and get hold of this because I don't know how how long it's been out for. I know it's part of their spring summer collection so I don't know how long it'll be there for. I got an order from House of Fraser because I really 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 wanted this and this is the Ritual blush, baked blush bronzer from Laura Mercier and I have this on today just sort of blended onto the cheekbones. It looks so super dark and you know it is but it's really really pretty you just need to be light with it and blend the shit out of it basically um but yeah it was it wasn't as expensive as i thought it was going to be a lot of like limited edition high-end things tend to be really expensive this was 23 pounds which is so not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like upwards of 30, maybe even 40. So I was, it was a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, if you can still get a hold of this, I would highly recommend it. 
One thing I'm not too sure about is the uh, mineral powder from Laura Mercier. Um, I'd heard just loads of my favourite YouTubers just brag on this like no end. And I got it in soft porcelain. Maybe I just need to find the right way to work with it, but I think I just find it's a bit too glowy for me, if that makes sense. But I will have a bit more of a play with this and um, it kind of matches me a lot. It does match, it's just a bit too glowy. I'll have a play with it and see what happens. And also from um, and also from House of Fraser, I picked up two of the Dior lipsticks. Um, these are the Dior Rouge Dior Nudes. This one is in greige, which is a really like beautiful brown peach color. There it is there. And then I got the ever popular Swan which is my favourite of the two and it's a beautiful rosy pink colour it's not a blue tone, it's definitely more of a yellow which makes it you know, a bit rosier, a bit warmer and love them, they're really soft, they slick right on, really glossy and quite moisturising so I love that I got a couple of things from um, Clinique, I got their Chubby Stick Eyeshadow Tint for Eyes. I got Fuller Fudge. And I got Ample Amber, which is like a champagne y kind of colour. And the reason I picked these ones is I had this dual um, shadow cream stick from Revlon in the colour Torch, and these colours match it perfectly because the dark brown end of my torch kind of fell off and um, I don't know where it's gone but you know now I can get the same effect um, I got two things from YSL I got their lip treatment um, the replumping concentrate for lip and contour shaper Part of their top secret range. Um, I wish I'd waited until this coming week because they're going to be having a 10% off sale but you know whatever. I love these products so it's cool. And I got one of their Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks in Fuchsia and the colour is number 17 and it's super vibrant. Um, I don't think the camera's really doing it justice but it's super vibrant. I will probably do a blog post with some pictures. So up. I got this quint from Lancome and it's in Terre d'Ivoire. Ivory of the earth apparently. And god how can I do this without blinding you? Isn't it gorgeous? There was like four of them that I was deciding between and, and I sold with this one because it's the most neutral one and it was the one I thought I could get the most wear out of. These shadows are so buttery, soft and extremely pigmented. Um, but yeah, I haven't had a chance to play with them but I will do a review on this when I do. And they also had a special offer on if you bought um, an eyeliner and a mascara together you got £10 off so I picked up the Hypnos Doll Eyes because this is the only Lancome mascara that I like. Um, I don't know if the formula is any different but it's the only brush I like. It's the conical one that looks a bit like a squished Christmas tree. Love it! And I also got another one of their pencil liners which is the most there. That's it's in bra. Bra? As my French teacher used to say, bra. <laughs> Sounds like she's saying bra, but yeah, bra. Um, this is the Le Col Le Crayon Col. Um, this is one 
black car like the bronze one but it's just as pigmented and blendable and soft and works amazing in the waterline. It's just really nice dark brown. Can't go wrong with a dark brown. Well actually you can't. The one from Rimmel sucks. Um but yeah. <laughs> And last high-endy thing is this Too Faced palette, the Boudoir Eyes. I was deciding between this one and the... I couldn't decide between this one, the Natural Eyes or the Matte Eyes, so I figured I'd just go for this one because it was limited edition. Um, it has all these gorgeous neutrals. I do have one complaint though, because these powder... these eyeshadows just really really powdery like you touch it and a ton of powder just kicks up so that's why I'm holding it this weird angle because I don't want to get shimmery stuff all over my dress. So the rest of these products are going to be lower end and I have a perfume as well that I want to show you too. I got two of the new um, Maybelline color tattoos. They have another one that's just this like silver with like a, like a violet hue to it. But this one is um, metallic pomegranate, which is weird because pomegranate, I think it'd be way more purple. But it's kind of more of a mahogany, maroony, burgundy kind of colour. Really, really pretty. And then I got Everlasting Navy, which I'm slightly a bit disappointed in. This one's quite a drier consistency and it goes on a bit patchy. Um, I'll do a swatch for my vlog and you can see it, but I haven't played with it quite yet. Um, but yeah. With this being slightly sheer and most navy eyeshadows being as sheer, they should balance out and work pretty well together. Um, two nail polishes. This is uh, the Color Riche Nail Polish in Flashing Lilac which is this the gorgeous hot bubblegum pink colour which almost matches my lipstick. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And I got this Maybelline Polka Dots nail polish. Would not recommend. This is a bit of a duff. Um, this stuff is like 10 times harder to get off than glitter polish. I would rather struggle with glitter polish than this. It looks pretty and all but it's such a pain in the rear. I got a lipstick from Barry M. This is in colour 52. Boom! Can you say hot, hot, hot? Yeah, this is hot pink. Hopefully that came out as vibrant on the camera as it does in real life because it's like highlighter pink. It's well bright, so can't wait to wear that. And I got three things from Revlon. I got purple eyeliner because it was three for two, and um, yeah, this is an aubergine. I really, really like the. Um, they're not like any particular range of eyeliner. They're just their their generic Revlon eyeliner pencils. I think they're like 350 or something for these massive things. I use the black one all the time. Um, I have it in brown which is really really nice so I thought purple would be good. Um, I got their skin lights. They brought back the skin lights. Um, and this is in pink light. They have a bronze one as well. And this is so freaking super. See it? Do you see it? It just hits the light perfectly. It's really pretty. Um, don't mind these swatches. These are um, possible future. They're from the um, Maybelline 24 
color stay lip lacquer things they're the bold matte range and they are pretty much these shades but in a lip lacquer and they last ages this is bordering on 24 hours now and it's still clinging to my hand um but yeah and lastly is this Revlon eye palette in um, Sea Mist and this is part of their summer collection. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous colours. I have had a play with this. I wore it the suggested way. Pardon me. Yeah, I wore it the suggested way or tried to. I ended up blending the green a lot further into the blue and um, bringing the purple like all under the eye and further around. Um, I might do a video on that as well if you guys want to see that. And the last 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 thing is a Scada Cherry in the Air. Um, this is their spring summer scent for this year and you're currently getting 50ml bottle for £28 in boots. I think it's like half price or something or £10 off or I don't know. I just know it smells like this bubble bath I had from um, the body shop when I was a kid. Or like matey bubble bath. Oh, nostalgia. I know it has like a lot of strawberry in it as well. That might be what I'm thinking of. The strawberry bubble bath from body shop because that was like boom, pun it of strawberries in your bath. Um, it wasn't delicate, it was like, hey, I'm here. But yeah. Escada, cherry in the cherry in the air. And that's everything that I picked up in April and in May. And it just isn't too bad when you spread it over two months, to be honest. Um but as I said, the detox period over summer it's gonna be June. June, July and August, complete cold turkey and I'm gonna have like loads of um, like review videos and review posts coming up so that's gonna take up a lot of time anyways so I probably won't have time to go shopping which will help me a lot. I think that is my downfall. If I walk past a shop and I have time to kill I'll go in and I'll have a nose and then having a nose turns into oh I'll touch it and test it and oh I have to have that and I also yeah. need to watch less YouTube videos because Vanessa from the Bombshell Suite, um, Miss Lola Lynn, Shani Bani, um, who else? Um, like X Barkage and all that, they use all these cool things that I'm like ah, so exciting. Um, I do have one, no I have two things still coming in the post, um, um, Sugar Pill had like 20% off so I picked up some stuff and some stuff from a kit is coming, um, once I pay the import duty I have to pay an extra £25 to get a foundation palette. Um, yeah, it's ridiculous. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. If you want to review on anything, feel free to let me know, and I'll see you later.